Oh, this is dark. Hey guys, welcome back. So, whenever I do like foundation routines or things like, like even my chest is like red. Whenever I do like foundation routines or makeup routines, a lot of you guys say that I don't have like discoloration or like a lot of, I don't I wouldn't say problems with my face because I'm not the biggest fan of this little thing. You guys just see that like my skin is pretty much like normal. You guys say that whenever I do like a review on like a high-end product, like it's always gonna look good on you. Not a high-end product, on a high coverage foundation. You guys are like, it's always gonna look good because there's nothing wrong with your skin. Like, like I'm not covering things to be like, oh, this is amazing because look, you can't see. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I have a couple of like freckles on my face, which I don't mind them being there. I thought this was gonna be a really good video to do just because like, do you guys see my forehead here? Let's underexpose this for a second. I am completely sunburned up here, my nose, my like cheeks areas. This is gonna be a good video, I think, to try this out and you guys can see if it covers all that up because I know what you guys are like, you love everything because your face is so like even and like there's nothing to cover to see if this is actually a really good high coverage, you know, like everything works on me basically is what I'm getting. So basically I got sunburned just for you guys. No, I, I did not want to get sunburned. This is what happens when you don't wear SPF. So I'm excited because this is gonna be a first impressions on the ColourPop foundation. I got two colors that I feel like would be my like best shades. Shout out to my best friend Melissa because she's the one who like helped me pick these. But these literally look exactly the same. I haven't swatched them or anything, but I got light 65 and light 70. I kind of went with Kathleen because I feel like we're kind of the same complexion, except I might be a little darker than her right now. I'll make sure to link the haul below because I got a whole bunch of other stuff too because this is basically just for the foundation and the powder. But I did a little haul, so I'll make sure to link that below. Look exactly the same. Like, I don't see that big of a difference. I will say they don't have a cap, but it doesn't bother me that they don't have a cap. Like, it's not something I'm going to, like, die over. So, while I get started, I just want my beauty blender. I did get a question why I didn't go to TanaCon or VidCon because I was in Anaheim. One, VidCon is, like, too expensive. I mean, I don't know. Not too expensive, but, like... I love YouTube. You guys know YouTube is literally my life. Like, I love it more than anything. I love creators. I'm huge fans of these people. But I don't see myself making a long line to meet somebody who, like, might not be the same as they are on the internet. I wouldn't want to go to a convention and spend millions of dollars to, like, not meet whoever I want to meet. And it's not that I'm dying to meet these people. Like, I've met big YouTubers. I'm friends with big YouTubers. I'm just not a name dropper, if that makes sense. So I'm never like, oh my god, I know da da da, -da. I'm amazing. Like, I've never thought that way because I'm my own person. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like once you guys were upset that I was in Anaheim and I didn't go to either of them. TanaCon, I was, like, the idea for TanaCon was amazing to me, but I've learned the hard way to never go to a first event of any kind of convention. I made myself a promise back when that I was never going to do a first convention of. Just because I know shit shows are a thing, but I don't think I want to make a huge line to, like, meet people that, like, I kind of like what Tana said, I don't want to waste a bunch of money to meet people that, like, are literally the same exact as me and you, you know, like, not just because I make videos, I mean, like, they're just people, you know, like, I do it for Vampire Diaries because I love that show, genuinely, and I love meeting you guys because I literally go for the fans, like, if I go to the San Francisco one that's coming up, it's gonna be to, like, meet the Vampire Diary fans because it's just a fun experience, but I wouldn't do that for, like, YouTubers, like, I don't, <laughs> go to Disney, you'll meet YouTubers there. If I would have done HannahCon, I would have done it to meet Shane and his friends because they are literally my faves. My suitcase literally just closed so slowly and it scared the crap out of me. This is what happens when talking about Shane Dawson up in here. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere, but I want to be a proper little beauty guru today. There's no um, cap, but I don't think you need a cap. So this is the lighter color. So I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, that's why you don't need a cap, because you just twist it. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh. This is dark. That was a lighter one, and this is dark. <laughs> Sorry guys, my first impressions are something else. This seems really dark. Not that dark, but like darker than my... Like this was the lighter color. I don't know, if you guys like go on... This might be my perfect shade actually. Does this have a mirror in it? It has no mirror. I just need like a mirror. <laughs> I didn't realize how dark this foundation was. Not that I hate it, like I'm into it. I thought it was going to be way too light. This might be my perfect shade then. I want to just swatch... The other color just to see how it is i'll save it for summer for sure but I needed one shade lighter i thought i was gonna need one shade darker i'm not even gonna lie but uh no yeah this is definitely the color for me the camera is not picking it up as it should but it's definitely like i should have gotten one shade lighter 
But if I could have done one shade lighter, and this is with me sunburned, like, I think this is a perfect shade because I'm sunburned right now. Like, it'll definitely get to tan in a little. But if I wouldn't have gotten the sun this last weekend, this definitely would have been way too dark for me. Which is insane because me and my friend Melissa were like, get a shade darker just because it looks too light. I feel like ColourPop, like, no offense, I love them. They're cheap, they're nice and affordable and good quality, but their websites, somebody needs to go in there, their PR team, I don't know who deals with that stuff. But, um somebody needs to go up in there and update all those pictures like hi I'm available hire me because I was looking at the concealers which I got a concealer I've never tried one before but they look so bad like the pictures look so bad like me and my friend Melissa were like I was like that looks too light for me like and look at how dark this actually is you know what I mean like their pictures quality suck and you can't just go to the store and pick these up I believe that they are now at Ulta but I feel like not the foundation and things like that it's like new see they were trying to cover this redness up let me know what you guys think because I feel like I look really yellow. But I feel like it's gonna like, not oxidize, but I feel like it's gonna sink into my skin eventually. I feel like I need to, it's good because all my foundations that I have guys are genuinely so light. Uh, the quality though feels really good. I feel like my skin looks good. I exposed back to where I usually do. I just wanted to down it just so you guys could see how this is like. So, like, look, the best thing I can tell you guys is look on the reviews on YouTube. Definitely watch more than one because we have lights. I count myself as we because I feel like you guys still can't see, like, the quality, even though I'm not, like, the biggest YouTuber out there. But, like, we have lights, and I feel like you can't see exactly the color of somebody's skin, but just kind of, like, I am going to use this concealer. So, I got the color in 18. Well, light 16. My friend Melissa told me this was going to be, like, the perfect color for me. I'm so glad I didn't go with that 000 color because she was like, don't do it. Like, even this is so light. Like, it's crazy. Online. Like, go look. And I'm, I don't need to be like, go avouch for me. But, like, if you go online, the concealers look orange. Like, this color straight up looked orange. And, like, if you saw this online, I was like, well, this, I think I need the 00 fair one. Uh, because. They will, like, their pictures suck. Like, the pictures suck on the website. I will say that. Like, somebody needs to go in there and redo it. I got the no filter setting powder, and I'm just gonna set my under eyes and things like that because I don't. I have pretty, not matte skin, but I have, like, normal to matte skin or normal to dry skin. You know, matte does not. That's what you buy. <laughs> Which, if this is amazing, I'll be so happy that Laura Mercier can stop stealing my wallet. I love the RCMA powder, but it's just too white. If the RCMA powder came out with a translucent one that like was like this it isn't just all white it's just like a little like there's something to it i would buy that so i'm just gonna pick this up in my beauty blender it's my favorite way to have powder under my eyes and i just kind of all right this look kind of feels like the laura mercier a little i'm not hating it usually a powder i can tell if i hate it in the moment but i don't know how it would be if you set your whole face with it sometimes like the only thing i will say right here is because of my smile lines I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go to do the rest of my face. I'll do like a little speed through of the rest of my face because it's not gonna be color pop. Some of it will be, but I really wanted to focus on like the coverage of this stuff. So I'll be right back. We'll do a little montage of me doing everything fast. guys this is the look that i came up with guys the foundation wears so nice i feel like everything looks so good on top of it and i haven't felt that like a very long time like i know that like it's a little underexposed like i'm looking at it this like micro little mirror and everything looks so clear and like it looks good i like the foundation a lot so i hope you guys enjoy this like first little impression on it i like it a lot i feel like it wears good it makes everything look good on top of it but I feel like when you use the same brand, because obviously the brand made it so things would work good together, it just looks better. So the fact that I'm like wearing their powder and their concealer, like I feel like it all looks very 
well put together. Let me know below in the comments below what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you guys like it. The only thing I will say is don't go buy the pictures online. Make sure you guys do more research, YouTube videos, things like that. Because this might be a little, like, it's not dark on me. It's just... I don't know what you mean. Like, I feel like it matches me perfectly fine. Like, you guys see this video, you guys are like, she's over dramatic. But, um... I just thought it was going to be way lighter, and I was like, I'm going to have to get a new foundation. Like, I just, I never went with, like, a, oh, this is going to be great. No shade, no tea, but um, don't go by the pictures. Make sure you guys do your research, go online, get a best friend like Melissa to help you guys out, because she's literally, if it wasn't for her, I think all my foundations would be, like, way off. So, yeah, I really like it. I'm, I'm even going to go, you know, have myself a little selfie session later. But, yeah, I love you guys. I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day, but I feel like it just makes my skin look good. In it. But I think I just found my new favorite foundation. So, yeah, I love you guys. Give it a big thumbs up, and I'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one. Bye, guys. So you guys can kind of see how good it looks. I really like the foundation. I feel like it just makes everything look good. Yeah.